Hey, what's going on? It's James Canzanel, your Affilio Hero, and in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is going over four amazing ways where you can pretty much make passive income with affiliate marketing. So before we begin, what's going on? My name is James Kenzanel. I am a full-time affiliate marketer, so if you like videos related to this and internet marketing, feel free to subscribe. And if you aren't new to this channel, welcome back. It's great to have you here. So let's get into it. And when I talk about passive income, that's pretty much going to be where you do the work for something and it allows you to see results while you're not still working. For example, the things that I'm going to be talking about in this video, once you set them up, you are going to obviously want to not only duplicate, but add on to them because that's going to allow you to scale up. But there's this kind of this mindset behind passive income where you do nothing and then you just stop completely and keep doing nothing, which is uh, really bad advice if you ask me. If you have something that's going well for you, the, the first thing you want to do is not stop. The first thing you want to do is just grow and continue to grow upon that. So uh, keep that in mind. A lot of these things will allow you to make money in the background, make sales, generate leads, get traffic but make sure you uh, keep them up, especially if they're working. So let's start with the first one, okay? First, we have blogging, okay? I love blogging because I don't mind writing. The cool thing about it is that I can literally be anywhere with my laptop, I can throw in some music, I can get in the zone and just write, 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 write about my targeted keywords for my targeted audience, whatever it's going to be. The beautiful thing about blogging and what makes it sort of passive is that when you can actually leverage blogs and or your website, to get traffic from Google search engines and even Bing, Yahoo, a few others as well. But Google is usually going to be the most amount of traffic. Not only usually, it will be <laughs> if you're doing it correctly uh, because they just have more traffic than you can shake a stick at. Okay, so the idea behind when you do that, so say you write a blog post, okay, you optimize it, you know, you give it some time, maybe you get some links, you know, to boost it, get some links, do some on page, which is the same as optimizing. That's pretty much uh, editing stuff around. Like it could be your headlines, it could be your pictures, it could be the alt tags, uh, it could be the amount of keywords you use in it, whatever it's going to be. You're pretty much gonna do whatever it takes to get towards the top of Google. And as it does, the closer to number one spot or number zero, if you're gonna be the featured snippet, the more traffic you're pretty much going to get. So you're gonna keep doing that until you get to the top. And this is where I talk about when it comes to passive income, there's going to be times where if you're ranking for something that's competitive, there are going to be people who want to see you get taken down in terms of they want that number one spot. So which means if they want the number one spot, they're gonna have to you know, outdo what you're doing. So it naturally comes with this competition of trying to one up the person who is on the top spot. This is why once you actually get going with something, stopping it, taking your foot off the gas pedal is a really bad idea because you always need to be hungry. You always need to be growing, continuing, and so on and so forth. But I have plenty of websites and specific web pages that are getting lots of traffic that help bring in lots of leads, tra traffic, and of course, sales and commissions, which is something that happens in the background. Regardless of what I'm doing, these type of things are coming in. So blogging is a great example of when it comes to making passive income. Yes, you're going to have to write blog posts. And yes, if you want to scale up, you're going to have to do more. While you can outsource it and so on and so forth, that's going to be up to you. But that is a great way to generate passive income as an affiliate marketer. Okay. Next, which is going to be very similar right now, as we are right now, okay? YouTube videos, okay? So when it comes to YouTube videos, a lot of people don't like writing, but maybe they like doing videos. Maybe they wanna get in front of the camera, maybe they don't, maybe they like doing screen shares, or maybe they're like me and they like doing a hybrid where sometimes I'll get in front of the camera, sometimes it's easier just to do a screen share and talk about things uh, in my little trusty dusty uh, <laughs> Google Drive doc as I talk about, and uh, I use this a lot just cause it's easier to kind of brain dump and talk about things. But once again, you record a video, you optimize it, up, Optimize it based upon the keywords and the tags, and you might put some other stuff in the description. You know, give it some time. There are going to be factors that allow you to rank higher. For example, like the click through rate. If people are searching for your keyword and they click on your video more than others, that's going to lift it up. Uh, if people engage with it, whether they give it a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down, or you know, they comment on it, that's going to help. And pretty much those are these specific things. The more uh, the more people you have on your channel, the more people you can watch it, the bigger the boost you're going to get. So uh, overall, it is much easier to rank YouTube videos because it doesn't take as long and there's other ways of getting it done. We can actually have people help you out by boosting it, you know, commenting, like it and so on and so forth. But once again, once you get videos in specific spots, that allows you to get traffic, that allows you to get eyeballs, that allows you to get clicks, you know, sales, commissions, whatever it's going to be. I've had plenty of videos that have done that. 
And it's made me a lot of commissions to say the least when it comes to affiliate marketing. Okay, so that's another one. Those are pretty much very similar. Uh, there are going to be a lot of differences in terms of how they rank, how quickly and how much lo how much longer it takes. But all in all, it's either pretty much writing versus doing videos. Okay, next, I love utilizing these email marketing follow ups, which also might be known as autoresponders. So the cool thing about this is that you don't have to send broadcast out every single day. Instead, what you can do is add it to your autoresponder series where on day zero, they get their first email. Two days later, they get another one. Two days later, they get another one. And that can continue on from time to time to time, pretty much as long as you want. And yes, while you have to do the emails up front, like you have to do with everything when it comes to this, you're doing the work up front, you're still adding to it. So the fact of the matter is that eventually, all you have to do is focus on getting people to the top of your funnel, so to speak, which is going to be your lead generation page. And once they opt in, then they are getting these emails automatically. And of course, when they make sales, that's going to be happening in the background, whether you're sleeping, whether you're golfing, or whether you're walking your dog outside, whatever it's going to be, uh, that's pretty much going to be a great scenario. So uh, doing emails as you go, adding to your autoresponder series, and just, you know, continuing the process. You could pretty much put continuing the process for everything I'm going to be talking about here, but uh, that's just an example when it comes to email marketing follow-ups. You can pretty much go until the end of the time. It's going to be up to you how you want to set it up. I've done a lot of videos when it comes to email marketing and follow-ups and affiliate marketing and so on and so forth. So you can search my channel if you want more information when it comes to that. And last but not least, this is going to be my number one favorite way when it comes to make making passive income as an affiliate, simply going to be recurring offers, okay? I stopped promoting a lot of crappy offers a couple years back and it completely changed my affiliate marketing business. Now I only pretty much do recurring offers, mid ticket, high ticket, and a very few low ticket offers. Uh, I used to be all about the low ticket offers and it was a constant uphill battle. It was a struggle. Uh, getting sales was easy because these um, offers were very low. You know, it's very easy to make a $7 impulse purchase, but uh, it was just much tougher to make a better affiliate income when you're doing that and you read you need a lot of volume when it comes to that It just wasn't for me. I wasn't digging that so when it comes to recurring offers what I like the most about them is that they are usually really good usually, okay <laughs> That means there are going to be exceptions. Like I understand that every single offer that comes with a recurring price tag um, isn't going to be the bee's knees and so on and so forth. I get it. I've, I've seen a lot of offers in my time online. The fact of the matter is that if someone's going to be paying for a monthly subscription, it's going to need to be really damn good. Okay. So that's why I like them. Usually if uh, there is any type of offer that is recurring and it sucks, like people aren't just going to stick around. So by default, by someone having these types of recurring offers or a person has to pay like a subscription, kind of like Netflix, usually it has to be really good. And from a different perspective, obviously Netflix is really good based upon the millions upon millions of people that have it and the amount of customers who continue to use it. Okay. What I also like about this is that, you know, some of these recurring offers are usually software and tools. And I really like software and tools. There's a lot of different dynamics that go into creating them, the types of features that they have, the simplicity, there's a lot of different angles to look at it. Uh, plus it also helps people who are actually looking to truly build an online business, whether it's an email marketing software, whether it's sales funnels, landing pages, it could be e-commerce, whatever it's going to be. There's a lot of great offers out there. And the fact of the matter is that they passed the like, it actually does what it say, it says it's going to do test, okay? There has been a lot of offers back there that don't even do that, which always sucks, which is they're never really good to promote. But another great benefit about these is that, that usually if you're setting up a business or say even like an email marketing tool, you're going to use that and you have a ton of subscribers on it, you got a very long follow-up series, usually you're not gonna wanna switch because one, you've used it and you've liked it for so long. Two, it's usually like a pain. It's kind of like with the internet. If you ever thought about canceling it, you know how much of a pain in the ass it's going to be to call up and be like, I don't want this anymore. And then you gotta go back and forth, blah, blah, blah. It's the same thing with that. Usually when people stick with these tools that work really well, they stick with them for a long time. For example, I've used ClickFunnels since, uh, I want to say 2014. I know the dates in like the back office or whatever, but like I haven't changed because I don't need to. I like it so much. I do like other tools as well, but I think ClickFunnels is really good when it comes to sale funnels. That's just an example 
when it comes to these. And the fact of the matter is that since it's recurring, it's naturally going to be passive income because you get someone and they stay on, you're going to get paid pretty much until they just cancel or stop using it, which is the same thing. So the fact of the matter is that just by simply changing the types of offers you can promote, that's going to allow you to make recurring offers in the process. Okay. Net income can definitely stack up and snowball over time, which is something that pretty much every affiliate wants when it comes to making money. So those are some of the four best ways when it comes to making passive income with affiliate marketing going over them really quickly first and foremost we have blogging then of course we have youtube videos and then of course we have email marketing follow-ups which i talked about a lot plus i've done many videos when it comes to that and of course promoting the type of subscription slash recurring offers which allow you to make passive income in the background hope that helps you out if you haven't been utilizing any of these i highly recommend them dive into them try them out you know look for more information i have plenty of videos when it comes to these topics and over time that'll allow you to you know get the the ball rolling and get that snowball growing bigger and bigger and bigger allowing you to see results over time okay if you're looking for some more offers to promote i will put a list down below for a cheat sheet if you haven't gotten that yet you probably have but in case you haven't check it out there's a lot of great offers to promote and that's about it if you enjoyed this feel free to give it a thumbs up if you hated it feel free to give it a thumbs up uh and if you don't know what to think about it give it a thumbs up anyway it's a fun thing to do just hit that uh thumbs up button. I want to see who's watching towards the end. And that's about it. I want to say thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.